what this price is. These are out, these were out for you. That, that, just I understand what you're saying. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't give you, that doesn't, it's about the heart. Right. You know what I'm saying? Once you receive now, price. Now, what do what you, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Once, once, once you receive price in your heart, he <laughs> cleans your heart. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I understand what you're saying about not even talking things that means, but what I'm saying is that to the real meat and the matter of the game, you understand what I'm saying? Is that going to stop me from getting into Right, right. Great question. So, what sin? Right, going against God, how? You, would you agree that sin will keep us out of heaven? Okay, you agree that sin keeps us out of heaven? Absolutely, okay. So now, if we know that sin, oh, oh, I'll, I'll let you speak now. If we know that sin is the main uh, uh, force that will keep us out of the kingdom of heaven, we need to know what sin is, correct? Bring it out. So we don't sin. All right, so hold on for a second. So, all right. So in the Old Testament, uh -huh. you understand what I'm saying? They, they, they kill animals. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Jesus is. So now, Absolutely. if I do sin, right? The Bible says in First John one and nine, if we do not sin, absolutely, we make just to give us a lot of sin. Absolutely. So you're right, but I also uh -huh. that's what Jesus is. Right. So so Jesus is there for the forgiveness of the sin. That, that, that's correct. correct. But and what, we're going to continue in the sin as long as we're in this body. But what is sin? That's what I'm asking you. Bring it out. Well, no. I mean, we just said what sin was. What is it? Sin, sin is what? Uh, anything that goes against God. Goes against God what? What? If I turn, if I look left, is this against God? Oh, okay. Bring it out. If I stay up too late, is that against God? Bring it out. Bring it out. Well, hold, hold on for a second. That's what that the Holy Spirit for. So that's subjective. Oh, okay. You understand what I'm saying? So Man, sin is subjective. Huh? Sin is subjective? No. How you, how you, how you explain it? If uh -huh. I look left. Right. It's that sin. Right. Now, if the Holy Spirit tells me, don't look left, and I look left, that's sin. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, now, it's, all, it's all about relationship. Got gotcha. Relationship. Okay. Now, this is my question. Your relationship. How do I know what is right or wrong? According to what? There has to be a basis. That, 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 that word right there. Good. Now, you said pork really don't keep us away. It ain't, it ain't going to damage the relationship, right? Well, uh, no. No. All right. Pork. Yeah. Okay. Fringes ain't gonna damage the relationship, right? What? Fringes. You said because that was an outward appearance, right? Wearing fringes on a garment? With the, no? Okay. Keeping the Sabbath day. There, 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 are, there are certain things that, that we are commanding. Okay, okay. So there are some things that we should that, be doing. Correct. Now, what are those things? That's what I want to find out. One of, one of the things that, that, I, that I know is, you know, saying, uh, uh, Community. Community. Washington. Washington. Uh huh. Uh, now, now with 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 that, I mean, like I said, you can't you can't have on the arm. You can know, say that they turn they change the I don't necessarily believe that that's going to be out. Okay, good. Now, I want I asked you all that. I already know what I believe. I wanted to find out what you believe. Okay. Now, when you read the Bible, the scriptures tell you very specifically how to receive salvation. It tells you very specifically what sin is. It tells you what to do and right. what not to do right. exactly word for word. Yes, because right. if it's not, then we will be lost in confusion. Right. Right. We will be like you. We'll be saying all of these doctrines, but not preaching the Bible. That's, That's right. Peter 4 and 11 first. And then I'm going to explain to you why I took you all that route to get to where I'm going to go. I'm going to use the Bible to back up everything that I say. And I want you to examine when you were talking to me, what scriptures were you saying? You understand that? Listen good. First Peter chapter 4. Verse 11, uh -huh. if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So the Bible says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Now, the brother that was up here teaching before, he was going through the laws, he was going through the Bible. He was showing you, why can't we, uh, why, what must we do on the Sabbath day? Why can't we eat pork? Why can't we do this? Why can't we do that? And he was providing a scripture. Now, I'm going to show you what sin is according to the Bible. Read that. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Because you know, this is what's lacking in the black and Hispanic community. That's we right. have no sense of structure because the churches have let us lead into our own mind and our own hearts. Right. The right. Bible says the heart is deceitful above all. Who right. can know it, right? Read. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. no. Whosoever committeth sin. So whosoever committeth sin, read. Transgresseth also the law. Does what? Transgresseth also the law. Read. 
Four, sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is what? The transgression of the law. Now, all right, go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you call you right back. I'm in, I'm in the conversation. All right. <laughs> you good. And what was your name again, bro? Kemus. Yes. All right, brother Kemus. So read that again. I want you to. I want you to see if you got this or not. Whosoever committeth sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So what is sin according to that scripture? That was in First John. You read. You quoted First John one and nine early. Right. Now we read First John three and four. Right. What did it say? Sin was transgression. The transgression of what? Of the law. Now, within the law, did you know that it says you can't eat pork? Bring it out. Mm. I, I love that. I love that point. All right. So now, what law we're we following? Good. Under the Mosaic law. Great question. Now, there was five sections of law, right? Mm. Would you agree? Okay. I agree. You, okay. You had a civil law. You had a dietary law. You had a ceremonial law. You had a sacrificial law, and you had a moral. Law. Right. We're talking about the five divisions of law. Now, within those laws. Christ came to do away with which one of those laws? And give me Romans 13. Which? He came to do away with the law here. Okay, so can I be a, a homosexual? No. no you Why not? He did away with the laws. No. All right, so, so, we, so we, have, we, have, we, have, we have the old covenant, we have the new covenant. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. You said he did away with the laws. If he did away with the laws, I can be a homosexual. Bring it out. Bring it out. No. You tell me, you don't want to brought it up. You said old covenant, new covenant. I know what the old covenant, new covenant is going to. It goes into exactly what you said. When we committed sins in the Old Testament, what did we do? Now when we commit sins, what do we do? Go to Christ. So do we have to keep the laws? You see that? You see that? That's the confusion in Christianity. And I know it's clicking in your head. You're like, that makes perfect sense. But what they've taught you in Christianity is that you go to Christ, right, for your repentance of your sin. Uh huh. But they never tell you what sin is. Right. They the law out. Right. You know that? Christ, the only thing he did away with was how we repent of our sins. We right. no right. longer need lambs yeah. and bulls and right. goats. But the law still stands. Right. Meaning, we still have to put fringes on our garments. Right. Right. Meaning, we can't eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Right. Right. Meaning, we can't marry the other nation. Right. Right. Meaning we still keep the Sabbath day holy. That's we right. to have our beard. All right. these things still stand today. Romans right. 13 and 8. Listen good. Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Oh, no man anything uh -huh. but to love one another. Uh -huh. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. So, when we love each other, we fulfill the law. Uh -huh. Listen good to the scripture now. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. That's a what? Thou shalt not commit adultery is a what? Right, no, no, thou shalt not commit adultery is a what? It's a law. Right. Would you agree? That's a law, right? That's Exodus 20. That's a law, right? Read. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill is a what? That's a law. Read. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal is a what? That's a law. So all of these different things that we read in the book of Romans, what you said is what? The New Testament, right? They're still quoting God's law. Uh -huh. That's right. Why is that? Because they understood Christ did not do away with all the laws. That's, That's right. right. He did away the way, with the way we repent of our sins. Right. Bring it out. You understand that? Now, I'm going to go to Hebrews 10 in a second. But I want to show you. Paul in the New Testament was still quoting the Old Testament. Right. And Christ did the whole thing all the way throughout the Bible. Keep reading them. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Read. Thou shalt not covet. Uh huh. If there be any other commandment. Now, if there be any other commandment. What is he making reference to? The other 615 commandments that right. are written of. That's right. That don't pertain to sacrifice. Right. So, what I'm saying is to you is this. So, how do I commit it? You can do it. You can do it two ways. You can. You can. One way is the way we read about where you sleep with another woman. Another way is Matthew five and seven it says when you look upon a woman in your heart, you committed adultery already. What? In your what? In your heart. Right. So what I'm saying to you is, is, is it's this. So it's not about. Yes, it's about the action. Uh, Romans 2 and 20. Yeah, so actually, it's 2 and 13. It's not about the act. He good, he good, he good, he good. He good. Uh, right? Now listen, listen, listen. Okay. If you do, before you do any action, what do you do with it? In your mind, right? 
Now, how do you cleanse your mind? Bring it right. out. Good word, right? Which is what? The commandments. That's you understand right. that? Listen good to the scripture, because you said it. You think he's only gonna judge you by what you by what you think or what you do? Which one? Okay, so you need both. That's right. Absolutely. So what you're saying is true. What you're saying is true. You're going to be judged by your actions. Right. Listen good. Romans chapter 2, verse 13. Uh -huh. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. So not the what? The hearers of the law are just before God. So not only are the hearers of the law just before God. Read. But the doers. But the what? The doers. But the what? The doers what? of the law shall be justified. The doers of the law is going to be justified. Where are you reading that at? Romans chapter 2. Verse 13. That's Bring the it out. That's the New Testament. Yes. That's right. right. The doers of the law are going to be justified by their works in the New Testament. Right. Now, what law is that talking about? It keeps going back to the same thing. Hebrews chapter 10. Because, like I said before, what changed was the law of sacrifice is now done away with. That's right. Now we can go straight to the Father through Christ. We no longer need what? The Levitical priest to sacrifice for us. But the law still stands. That's the law right. They talk. It's still here today. That's where we going in Matthew 5 and 17. But I wanted to hear you out, so hopefully we can gain you over. Are you are you understanding what we're saying? I'm understanding. Okay, good. Read. Verse what? Part of one. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 1. Uh, now, for the law. For the law. Read. Having a shadow of good things to come. Now, the law that is speaking about right now, I'm going to tell you so you can kind of grasp it in your brain while we read this. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. Speaking about what? Christ. The law of sacrifice was mimicking who being a sacrifice? Those lambs and goats were mimicking who? Ooh. Give me John 1 and 31. Bring it, Bring it out. Bring it out. What were those lambs and those goats? They were a shadow, meaning they weren't the actual yeah. thing. Okay. But they were a, 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 um, <laughs> right. They were mimicking something that was going to happen in a fourth time. Listen good. You got it? Lamb of God? Uh, 21. Yep. John chapter 1 verse 21 29. 29 listen good the next day the next day John seeth Jesus uh, coming unto him he saw Jesus coming unto him read and saith behold the Lamb of God the what the Lamb of God why did they call Jesus Christ the Lamb of God Bring it out. Bring it out. you gotta ask yourself why was Jesus Christ a carnal man being compared unto a animal specifically the animal that's what that deals with what sacrifices for sin Bring right. it up. because that is what the shadow of good things to come was right, you right. That? go back to hebrews 10. hebrews chapter 10 verse 1 uh -huh. for the law having a shadow of good things to come Read. and not the very image of the things and not the very image of the things because those animals and goats could not do what christ did right, right. can never with those sacrifices uh -huh which they offered year by year, uh -huh. continually, uh -huh. make the comers thereunto perfect. Because those animals could not convict us the way Christ does. That's, That's right. right. Because when you understand Christ felt everything that we felt, and he died a perfect man without sin, now you gotta, you gotta be like, all right, cool. I can do this now. That's, That's right. But if it's an animal or goat, you're not really thinking about it the same way. You understand what I'm saying? No. So the the shadow of good things to come was speaking about Christ. That's you right. Them. Verse 2. For then would they not have ceased to be offered, uh -huh. but that the worshipers once purged should have had no more conscience of sin. Read. But in those sacrifices. But in those sacrifices. Because in the Old Testament, Every time you sin, what you had to do? You had to bring some type of animal. And guess what happened? That kind of got what? Repetitive. Over and over again. Okay, I see it. Let me bring it. I got to bring What I got to do for this? All right, I lied. What I got to do? All right, I cheated. I did this. What? Okay, good. I, 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 I use unjust balances. What I got to do now? And guess what happened? Eventually, people started putting the sacrifices to the side before they would even go up to Christ. It wasn't sincere. You understand? See? But in those sacrifices, there's a remembrance again made of sins every year. Read. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls uh -huh. and of goats should take away sin. Read that again. But it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin. The bloods of bulls and goats no longer would be enough for the Most High God. Right. You understand that? The sacrifice, he was no longer going to accept that. Keep reading though. Bring it up. Wherefore? <clears throat> 
When he cometh into the world. Who is the he that's speaking about right there? Huh? When Jesus came into the world, read. Yeah. He saith, uh -huh. sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, uh -huh. but a body uh -huh. hast thou prepared me. But a right. body hast thou prepared me. Keep going. In burnt offering uh -huh. and sacrifices for sin, uh -huh. thou hast had no pleasure. In burnt offering and sacrifices, he had no pleasure. But guess what he does take pleasure in? It always has. Us keeping the laws of God. That's, That's right. right. You understand that? It was always that. Give me that in First Samuel. Uh, obedience better than sacrifice. Because it was always about us getting back to the laws of God. The Most High God don't want bulls and goats and lambs. He wants us to keep the commandments. To this day, to this very day, he wants us to keep the commandments. You got it? Yes, sir. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. Uh -huh. And Samuel said, have the Lord as great delight uh -huh. in burnt offerings and sacrifices uh -huh. as in obeying the voice of the Lord? As in what? Obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey uh -huh. is better than sacrifice. You see that? To obey is better than sacrifice. Right. Right. Going back to the New Testament, guess what? It's the same thing. We have to keep the laws of God. That's right. Yes, sir. If I would have come to you and say, what are the uh, right. Right. I would take you all throughout the scriptures. So how many laws are there? It's over 613. But in the streets, guess what? We can only go over so many. That's why we read Romans 13, right? If what? It says, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not, not admit a, commit adultery. And then it said what? If there be any other things, it is briefly comprehended in this saying. Love thy neighbor as thou love thyself. Because guess what? During that time in the book of Romans, a lot of people had the understanding of the commandments. Mm. I didn't have to go through them and teach right. them. You can't shave your beard. Bring right. it out. You got to keep it seven days. Right. Right. Don't buy a cell on the Sabbath. Right. Right. You got to go to Jerusalem three times a year. They right. knew that. They knew that. That's why I said it was briefly comprehended in this saying, keep the commandments. Give me Matthew 23. Because I understood. During that time, you still had the Pharisees and the scribes around. You still had temples. You had synagogues. So the law was being taught, but it was not being applied. Right. right. You understand that? When Christ came, he, he, he magnified the law for our people. Like Matthew 5 and 27. If I look upon a woman to lust after her, I've committed adultery in my heart already. Right. What was he showing you? He's showing you that you think upon these things before you actually do right. it. Right. That's right. So that's why you got to change your mind. You got to change your spirit. Cleanse through what? Through the word of God. That's right. But you're not going to get the understanding of the word of God if you're not keeping the law. That's right. right. Listen good. 23 and uh, 2. Sorry, 2. Matthew chapter 23 and verse 2. Uh huh. Say, the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. The scribes and Pharisees sat in Moses' seat. Meaning what? They taught the people what? The law. So what did that mean? The law was being taught at that time. Read. Oh, therefore, whatsoever they bid you, uh -huh. observe. Whatever they tell you to do, observe. Meaning what? They were telling the people to keep the commandments. Right. The right. law, the knowledge of the law was still being taught. Right. Read. That observe and do. Uh huh. But do not ye after their works. But do not after their works because they were hypocrites. That's, That's right. right. You understand that? So, to answer your question, we would do what they tell us to do, which is what? Teach the people the laws. And we would go through all the laws that you had to keep, not pertaining to what? Sacrifice. That's right. You understand? Because those are the laws that we have to keep to receive eternal life. Make sense? All right.
This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.